Welcome to Renewed, everybody. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope everybody's doing well. It's uh, Monday, and uh, welcome to Renewed. So this show is a live interactive joke workshop where a couple comedians we work on uh, we work on our stuff. Uh, we work on material. It's a lot of times it's old material that didn't work. Sometimes it's new premises. And we go back and forth. And if you're watching and want to pipe in some ideas, you can go ahead and do that. Tonight on the show, I have two fantastic comedians from uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. The first comedian, he runs uh, he has, runs a great outdoor show at the bonus round. Please welcome Skylar Bolks. Uh, bring him in. There he is. How's it going, Hello. Skylar? Doing well, Dan. How much yourself? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, and my other guest from Sioux Falls, another great uh, Sioux Falls comedian and a fantastic musician, improviser, you name it, and uh, and a star high V employee. Uh, let's welcome Zach Dresch. <laughs> and no, Hi, they, are not, they are not sponsoring us. <laughs> Damn it! Oh. <laughs> I wish they were. <laughs> <laughs> Get, get right. some of that. The, get the some of that is money. Employee owned, so you got to have to get every single individual employee to agree to it. So it's kind of a tough. Oh ask, you know? yeah, that is that is fair. yeah. That's, yeah, there's going to be a true. few. Some of them are going to be like, you know what? Not for me. See ya. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, this is that not, guy. Not my kind of thing. Not my kind of thing. Uh, all right. So for people that are tuning in, I see we're, we're getting some viewers. What this show is, it's called Renewed, and what we're going to do is we're going to workshop some jokes. Uh, Zach and uh, uh, Skyler will be uh, throwing out some some stuff that they're working on, and we're going to help each other try to improve the joke or renew the joke, if you will. And if you have a thought or a comment or a suggestion, you can do so by typing it into the comments. Um, and if you have it, you could also, if you really want to get involved, share the episode, hit the little share button, and uh, let's get some more viewers. So. We're going to get into this, uh, get right into this. And just so you know, too, then at the end of the show, so during the show, we pretty much work on the jokes and the material, but then the last five, ten minutes of the show, I like to do an AMA where people watching can ask us anything about anything, and we just have some, we end on some fun stuff. So with that, we're going to get into workshop and some material. Which one of you would like to go first? Rock, paper, scissors. Let's yeah, there we go. I like it. I like it. All right, I was gonna make Zach go first, but okay. <laughs> Rock paper scissors oh. too. <laughs> There's a bit of a delay, but you got it. So yeah, so your choice, Zach. Wait, okay, I'll go first. I don't know why. All I right. <laughs> that. <laughs> that, was almost, that was almost as bad as when we were trying before we went live, and I'm like, do you like? This layout or this layout? Well, I like you know this one, and then I switch. I like this one. <laughs> I mean, I guess I like both of the layouts that you both options you gave us. <laughs> They're both good. Choose them both. Yeah, don't give us one of those options we haven't seen, Dan. We don't want those. We don't like them. <laughs> no, just just let's do I it. Fear this what I way. Don't know. <laughs> oh, Wayne's watching. Hi, Wayne. Hi, He's Wayne. A, He's Hello, got a fantastic comic from the Twin Cities area. He's got some great merch too. Uh, he's got uh, the Minnesota oh, yeah. Uck Off merch. <laughs> <Hello. Right. laughs> yep, those are those are his. All right, well, Zach, go ahead with uh, the joke you want to work on. The first joke. All right. Well, I uh, I opened up with this at Bosses last week, and I like the energy of the bit, but I think it needs a little bit of work. Um, basically I just walked up on stage and I said, guys, guys, I did it. I found the G spot. <laughs> I found the G spot. It's like that third fret, you know, on the guitar when you're strumming your middle finger up and down to the top <laughs> and then, uh, you keep strumming away until she keeps wailing or says, I'm really tired. And need to go to sleep, you know, on a guitar. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if you did that intentionally, but uh, as because you're doing your finger maneuvers and you yeah. rub it under your nose. Because <laughs> 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 you 
because that's like a just a dirty, gross, old uh, like teen movie trope, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but I think it's a, I think it's a funny uh, like energy kind of like it's stupid, but it, I think it works. <laughs> but it needs some work. Yeah, it definitely needs some work. And that little that thing I just posted, that's what his merch is. It's uh it's great. My knockoff. Yeah. <clears throat> My knockoff. Um <clears throat> yeah, definitely. It's definitely uh and even so it's kind of a gross joke anyway. I mean I mean, I guess not necessarily gross joke, but it's it's like it's on the edge. Sexual. Yeah. Yeah, it's very sexual. That's that's what I would say with that. Uh, another. Well, I'm just gonna throw this up here. He said, "Or you snap a cord." Um, <laughs> oh, and Jenny's here. She's got a one. Oh, whoops. There we go. Sorry. It's a G7, G7. spot, <laughs> which is good because that actually uh, kind of brings the two together: the music and. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah wow well done wayne that well done <laughs> that went there fast <laughs> <laughs> i almost had a hard time putting that up on the screen because i was laughing so hard when it came in <laughs> it just yeah, like, I, think oh. like I, said, I, I don't know if it was intentional but I think it is funny to, to yeah. do, you know, yeah. just give your, give your, okay. some, and, and just try to make it really subtle though. Like you don't but even, yeah, need to do like it. you don't mean to. And because that's, yeah. Yep. Go on, man. Oh, no, I was just going to say, I uh, just kind of adding on to what you were saying with, uh, you know, making it subtle, but also not addressing it. Yeah. Right. Cause that's, cause yeah. it makes it look more like it wasn't like, on purpose. You know, yeah, exactly. you know, like, you know, you know, you know, it's and like when you're like going up to the top and, you know, it's it's like a, a thing where you strum. I think, you keep, I think you keep strumming right away. I just think once at the end. Yeah. Too. Yeah. I okay. agree with Skylar on that. I think you're, do, you're doing you your just, uh, guitar finger thing for a second and then you just kind of do one of those and it's right. yeah, it is over. Uh, so it's like, you know, on a guitar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Does my finger uh, smell like a guitar? <laughs> that'd be that'd be funnier if you put your your hands out into the audience, but also gross. <laughs> yeah, I think you have to go one way or, one way or the other with it. Right. Um, the other thing you might want to watch when you're doing this the the guitar thing is from my angle, and this could just be because we're sitting down or whatever. It actually yeah. when you had your hands out like this. The way it was, it actually looked like you were just flipping us off. Oh, okay. Too. So, like... so you got to watch because it's going to look, it might look like you're just flipping the audience off. <laughs> just but, do like, yeah. full on air guitar. Yeah. And then this, and you can then, do whatever, yeah. whatever hand works better <laughs> yeah. for you. But, yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. But yeah, it should be full on air gu guitar, okay. I think, too. Yeah. And you can right like up. whammy it upwards to give it a real, yeah. you know, <laughs> one of those or something. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I think that that's might work better. The joke that's all about the act out. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. that's that's what I'm all about. Sad, and, I mean, this, this physical is going, comedy. This is going uh, just leaning into the uh, little more crass direction of it. But you've seen all the guitar solos where they really are rocking. They're they're leaning right. over. They lick the guitar. Maybe <laughs> you know. <they're, laughs> There's yeah. so many just raunchy you things could, you can do with that. That'd oh, be pretty fun. That's for sure. You could definitely, definitely go dirty, dirty, dirty yeah, on that fine. one. <laughs> but anytime you try to be super <laughs> dirty, it's just hilarious. Because it's you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, all right. Well, do you feel like you got some stuff to work with? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All righty then. All right. Well, we'll 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 swap it over to Skyler and see see what he's got to work Perfect. on. <laughs> uh, well, I've got like all of my notebooks from like the last eight. Well, years that's fine. 
And so I'm going to work on something new instead of all that stuff that I looked through. Uh, <laughs> oh, and so I've been wanting to do this a bit. It's kind of more of a premise right now, but uh, I went to a burrito place the other day, right? And that I, I could tell that the guy rolling my burrito was a stoner. And not because he was really high, because, you know, he wasn't. But uh, he got done making the burrito, and he he licked it, you know, <laughs> to just seal it up. But it was a pretty good burrito. <laughs> and stoners make the best burritos, so... <laughs> Oh, it's so dumb, but it's so uh, good. It is. I'm just trying to think of it because <clears throat> I'm not. It's a, uh, it's a little harder to. Because it's already pretty solid, but I was just thinking of like if uh, something you could tag it with, which I mean, you could say something about it being rolled tight, you know, like a blunt, but. I mean, I don't know, because it's almost like if you add more to it, then you're you're gonna ruin it because you're putting too much on it because it's already funny. Right. I I throw in if that like, makes sense for a tagline. Throw in like this was a joint effort between the both of us. That's <laughs> wordy. I mean, if we want to make it a pun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As I always do that, but I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> What? I'm wondering if I shouldn't add more, like more description on the front end, like kind of drag it out a little bit. Like this is probably the reason, you know. Yeah, you could like, do. Like I have a bunch of reasons in a row. You could right. do like uh, rule of three, where you yeah. do like just do like three reasons why you're pretty sure. Yeah, it was like a he rolled up this really tight burrito, you know, and then when he went to seal it, he licked it. Yep. And I mean, it was a good burrito. Yeah, yep, something like that. I would definitely do the 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 ceiling part last, even you know, if you add if you end up doing like three, I would make that the last one because that's where it's really funny because it's like I'd, and then he sealed it. It was a really good burrito. <laughs> I'd say for the rule of three, make the first one a little like the least obvious, but a, a subtle hint. Second one more, a little more obvious, and the final one, the sealing it, because that's kind of the over the reach, yeah. the reaching to the stoning stoner part. Sure. So like organic. He said it was an organic sub. Uh, it's only ten cents today. Uh, or like a dot. It's so like he, would, he winked at me when he told me he was going to throw a little lettuce. In I there. was. Just <laughs> like, oh man. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, I, we're almost on the same brain pattern there, Scott. I was just about to say that uh, you should, it should, the first thing should be something about lettuce. Like, whether, like, or like lettuce. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's great. Could tell, I could tell he was a stoner. The burrito had extra lettuce. It was rolled nice and tight. And when he sealed it, he did the, I mean, it was a good burrito. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Put some of that damn devil's lettuce in the burrito. <laughs> and no what I said. <laughs> he sold it to me in an alleyway, too. <laughs> <laughs> we had to meet out get back at the gas station. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I can't stress. Oh, I, I just want to mention this was not in a restaurant. This was. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd like, you get that burrito from? A uh, guy. <laughs> <laughs> a guy I know. That's the all guy, you need. My the guy. guy. Yeah. My guy. <laughs> my guy. <laughs> you can even start it with uh, that. You could say. Lead in like it's going to be a drug deal. Yeah, we're going to be like, yeah, my guy, my burrito guy. I was I'm meeting my guy good. behind the gas station the other day. And... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that I think that's kind of taking it a little I've, I've, talk, I've put the note down but I think that I feel like that's taking it in a little bit of a different direction well yeah what? I mean so not necessarily like that that alley well, I, but I was going to say you could do where you're like yeah so the other day I went and had to go see my guy my burrito guy 
but I'm pretty sure he's a stoner. And then you can go into the th the reasons and then that. Yeah. You can all. You yeah. can also, if you're doing a longer set, you can do a callback later on to the burrito guy because you were going somewhere else to get my burrito or something like that. You can bring it back around. Yeah. Okay. You could even do a callback later if you have a joke about pot where he's actually your dealer too. <laughs> Cause like you've got your your <laughs> you've you've got your bit about your mom buying weed from her son kind of a thing. So you could also kind of work that around yeah. it too. Yeah, that's that's so I, that was immediately where my mind went because I'd be like, I'm just kidding. She gets it from my burrito guy. Yeah, if, yeah. The yeah. way <laughs> when I do that joke is so early in the set, it might be hard to get this this one in there. But I I mean, it, we can wiggle some things around. Yeah. <laughs> can wiggle, wiggle, wiggle some things wiggle. around. Wiggle. That reminded me of that that song. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I work out. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought you were thinking of Miss New Booty. Booty, 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 <laughs> rocking everywhere. Sure. <laughs> tomato, tomato. I mean, <laughs> potato, yeah, how, potato. How surprised are you that an LMFAO reference came up uh, with two guys with hair like us? I know, right? Because I'm true. not. That's true. <laughs> Oh, it's funny. They actually, uh, it's funny because I, I was using, uh, had my Pandora the other day. I was doing chores around the house and that song came on. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. I haven't heard this song in a while. Whatever happened to those guys? Yeah. They broke <laughs> up like right after they got big. Like, Did they? they oh, I just, oh, really? And like uh, some guy, some guy <laughs> walked up to me at Hy-Vee a couple years ago and goes, dude, you're the guy from LMFAO. Like, <laughs> no. Like not at all. The hell are you talking about? <laughs> like, I mean, hearing about what happens, they broke up like six years ago. Now would be about the time when I start working at a convenience store, you know, like in their career. That's <laughs> when you start. Okay. All right. Well. All uh, right. Well. Well. How do you feel about that, Skyler? I like it. I like. I, it. Like I have a couple of new, different ways to go with it, and I, I feel like it's going to be more of a concise like a joke of more of a bit as opposed mm -hmm. to something you know that I'm just going to you know toss out there at an open mic I, I feel like it'll be a little more refined by the time I get to that point so yeah a little little stronger not just like a one liner that you can just throw mm -hmm. out what do you got next Mr. Zach um well actually this one uh my new girlfriend and I Becca I love saying that phrase uh <laughs> we're working on a bit is this where uh, we give you a standing ovation? That, that, <laughs> that part is over now. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> uh, but uh, we were kind of co-writing a bit about how I do song parodies a lot for those that don't know what my routine is uh, a lot of the time. And this one is like a the Natalie and Broglia song, Torn, but about construction workers and the streets always being torn. And how pissed I am about it. And okay. so we thought, okay, here's what we came up with. Or she came up with some of this. She's been like messaging me ideas that she's had. And I think these are great. We were kind of working on some stuff. Uh, let me see here. Well, I saw a man wearing orange. Putting cones on the road. Nothing rhymes with orange. Seriously. <laughs> seriously, <laughs> nothing rhymes with orange. <laughs> And uh, something like, all the streets are torn. <laughs> like, well, yeah, I, I feel like that's obvious. You got to have that in there if you're going to sing about road construction. Yeah. <laughs> right. I think it, you should probably get a couple of um, like verses before you start doing the orange thing. Oh, sure. Yeah, and I think I, so, this, too. This probably isn't going to surprise you, but I it's this is very funny to me. Uh, but sometimes when I just don't know the words to a song, I, I'll just keep repeating the same word over and over again. <laughs> oh, so you'd be like, seriously, nothing rhymes with orange, orangey, orange, orangey, orange, orangey, 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 orange. I don't know when to stop. Orangey, orange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the first two could be a subtle hint of what I'm getting at, and then the second part will be like saw a man wa wearing orange that kind of thing yeah yeah um 
Yeah, I do. I, I agree with Skylar on that too. I think you got to have uh, at, at least one other verse before you do that. You could maybe, because uh, you could maybe do the, the first verse about the roads being bad. Yeah. You know, like, like not necessarily that they're already doing the road construction, right, but right. The, the, holes the, and yeah, you're like, I was driving down the street and it was torn. And then, you know, you could say something about, you know, wishing the city would fix it or something or whatever. And then the next verse could be about seeing the construction guy out there. Yeah. I like, hit a pothole just last night. Yeah. The oh, city yeah. won't provide me light. I don't know. <laughs> well, I hit a pothole just last night. Hit a bump. It seemed to hurt my car in my insides. <laughs> like, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll be good. Oh, we'll keep working on that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely uh, do that. I think, yeah. It's uh, your parodies are always funny. <laughs> this one, yeah, I feel crowds, like, I feel like, yeah. Crowds love a good parody, too. Like, especially and, when it hits on something that they they are experiencing, you know. It's like, it's, yeah. I, we, we came up with it because it's just like every single street we drive on, it's construction right now. It's like you can't fucking go anywhere without it being oh, all yeah. in place. That's, so. uh, totally. I, I just, I'm just i just curious. Do you ever do song parodies of like recent songs? <laughs> I have. <laughs> it's all 80s and 90s pop. I know. It's like every, he, he does really good. He does really good parodies. But like all the songs are so irrelevant, they've been gone. Yeah, they're, they're like hits well, from the past. <laughs> I, I will mean, say, I did Billy Eilish. TikTokers don't uh, buy tickets, so right. you don't need to keep up on the most recent songs. You gotta <laughs> hit, the, you gotta hit those boomers with some shit. Right. Oh, all right, that's fair. Well, I will say good that point, I, I, I did, I did a Billy Eilish bit. I've you been did. Billy Eilish yep. bit. So that, that's more recent. Yeah, I know. I was just giving you a hard time. I know, but. <laughs> The eighties and nineties I know too well, so it's just kind of like that's my grab sometimes. Oh, <laughs> he said, "Sing it like Eddie Vedder," which. <laughs> when I saw a man wearing a watch. <laughs> that was because because you're really good at that kind of stuff, Zach. You're not only good at impressions, but also these uh, parodies. I think it'd be funny, like, you could take maybe the cast of a movie or something yeah. and do, like, a, maybe a Joe Pesci movie or something like that, where you have a couple of distinct voices right. that you can sing one verse as one of them and another verse as another one. Like, I think, yeah, I, don't, I don't have any specific direction I'm thinking of going with it. Like, I mean, that, let's just say Home Alone. So you do, like, uh, the Wet Bandits sing. Uh, oh, the sounds of silence or something. <laughs> um, how or like uh, since uh, Joe Pesci is notorious for like he's auto tune. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's notorious for mumbling in the movie a lot. You could make his verse. That'd be funny. That's funny. I uh, I I haven't did it. I haven't. I, I thought about this premise and I haven't did anything with it yet. I've been trying to figure out how I want to do it or, but I thought it would be funny. I don't know the whole idea of like replacing uh fuck with Pesci, you know, was funny oh, yeah. to me. So like, instead of swearing, you just say Pesci because he's, you know, <laughs> a lot of his movies, he's like notorious for using, you know, fuck. So I, I don't know. I just think that's funny to me where you'd be like, listen here, you stupid mother Pesci. <laughs> or oh wait i got one uh you know like in planes trains and automobiles when uh steve martin chews out that rental car agent uh it's like you can get me a pesci automobile a pesci datsun pesci toyota four <laughs> pesci wheels on a seat <laughs> <laughs> yep there it is <laughs> oh that's funny i think uh that would be hilarious uh carl quaker and andy swan y'all need to do the did you pesci my girlfriend bit now <laughs> <laughs> that's an inside joke so everybody else watching sorry unless you're from unless you're, you're watching that one. 
Unless you're from watching from the Sioux Falls comedy scene, that's going over your head. <laughs> yeah, if if you if you went to Tommy Jack's circa 2017, you'll know what we're talking about. <laughs> I uh, the bartender uh, one time dropped the drink. He was he didn't like it didn't know there's no breakage or anything, but he just like chucked everything down and ran out uh, from behind the bar because those guys were doing that thing. <laughs> They're just yelling, and luckily, I, they're uh, both like semi regular at that bar. Like Andy Swan was pretty regular at that bar for a long time, and there's other regulars that are their friends that are like, "It's just a joke." They're just <laughs> fucking around. They're good friends. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> I just watched picture get in my head now. You know, low standard for what roads should look like. Like you're actually torn between one and asphalt roads versus <laughs> one. Pretty good. You have your agreement. Do you have your agreement? Then you're pesky. <laughs> <You're pesky. laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. All right. What do you got, Skylar? What's your next? Oh. Okay, this is a classic that I'm sure my girlfriend is going to be pumped to find out. I talked about on <laughs> Facebook uh, live. Um, I uh, <laughs> let's see. I forgot. I, forget, I, just, I haven't done it for so long. I kind of forget how it goes. But I also haven't done stand-up much at all lately. So, um, What's stand-up? What's, I don't know. Right? <laughs> I've been setting up my tripod and actually just standing in the corner of my living room <laughs> with my phone set up so that I can actually feel like I'm doing the thing. But uh, do you have your face facing the corner? Actually, Is it like some weird Blair Witch stand up <laughs> mashup thing you got going on? <laughs> no. I face the, the living room so that uh, my girl I can see the disappointed uh, shakes of the head of my girlfriend when I tell a pun joke. <laughs> fun fact, though, if you really want to freak someone out on the elevator, do that Blair Witch thing. Just walk in and put your face right into the corner. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, sure. If there's Especially... anybody else on the elevator, they won't be uh, at the next floor. So. <laughs> They'll be like trying to get that elevator to stop and get out of there. <laughs> um, actually, okay. So I, I, I found a good. I, I've done <laughs> vamping here, trying to buy time <laughs> to figure out a bit to work on. But uh, no, so I actually uh, I'm gonna go back to this this other one. Uh, this is a story I usually do on like cleaner shows, but I feel like it needs some punch up. Um, when I was when I was a kid, I used to skateboard a lot, uh, which is a lie. I didn't skateboard. I just kind of carried my skateboard around, you know, to look cool. And uh, one day my good friend came over and I, there hasn't been a laugh yet. This is part of the problem. <laughs> um, my friend came over <laughs> trying to turn our skateboards into a luge, right? Which just involved like bolting a two by four to the front and then taking it to the biggest hill in the neighborhood for their maiden voyage. And, uh, <laughs> I brought my, my little brother wanted to come with. Uh, he brought the wagon. He said something about wanting to be able to steer or whatever. And uh, we get to the top of the hill, and my, my brother goes first because he's your little brother. He's a crash test dummy. That's what they're there for. And he gets about halfway down the hill, and he panics and tries to turn the wagon. And he flips the wagon, and he goes rolling out in the grass. And uh, my buddy, uh, he went next. And... He got going down the hill. He picked up speed. We found out he didn't put his wheels on right. Uh, so he was veering off to the side, and he eventually hit a parked car. And we found out later that he did uh, break his arm, which might not be funny to you guys, but he was a jerk, so it's hilarious to me. Uh, <laughs> I got up next. I got on my luge. I got all the way down to the bottom of the hill. When I hit the straightaway... I was at the bottom of the hill. I hit the straightaway and out from the woods ran a wild turkey. And I hit it and killed it. <laughs> now, I was a neighborhood hero after that. Because <laughs> I grew up in the suburbs, right? Like, we didn't have gangs or any sort of sketchy element. But what we did have was a flock of overly aggressive wild turkeys. <laughs> 
and they were kind of like a gang, you know. They'd wait for us at the bus stop, shake us down for our after school. <laughs> they'd come up the hill and peck at us while we played tag. So we'd chase them back down the hill with rocks, you know, turf wars. <laughs> But after I hit that bird, I killed it. My friend's dad picked it up, took it home, cleaned it, and cooked it, and didn't invite me. Oh. That's the now I know why his kid was such a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> that one, I'm just, there's just so much fluff at the beginning of yeah, it. Yeah, well, just one thing I can... The losing thing. <clears throat> one thing I think you should do is I think you should swap it out a little bit where do the stuff about the turkey gang first like use okay. that as kind of a lead in so you know you could lead in even lead into uh, you know oh this next story is about uh day i became a you know the neighborhood hero you know because we used to have this you know and our we lived in the suburbs and we didn't have gangs do your you know the stuff about them being like the gang and them uh, set them up, know, set them up as set the them up before and, uh, yeah. they get into the story. Okay, yeah, and then you can say, well, one day we, I finally got my my retribution against this gang, and then you can go into the Lou story, and then after the Lou, like after you, then you do the reveal about killing the turkey. You can go right into your friend's dad. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll be harder that way. Yep. <clears throat> So we got a couple rafter of turkeys. <laughs> Is that the legitimate name of a? I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm not sure if that's legit. You have to confirm I think, that. I think you should at some point say the turkeys were bringing me some jive. You know what I mean? <laughs> the guy that hit the car <laughs> get to bring that home. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. That's funny. That could be that could be a tag at the end. There's like there found out later that he was just jealous I got to take home the thing that I hit. Yeah. <laughs> it could be like a Mercedes or something. I'd be like, he, he hit a Mercedes and broke his arm, and, but it turns out he was just jealous he didn't get to take home the thing he hit. Yeah, yeah. And ironically, the dad was an alcoholic and his drink of choice was wild turkey bourbon. Clapping for yourself. It would be great if I uh, liked liquor. I could then order a shot of wild turkey to the stage and then fuck up the rest of the show. <laughs> the turkey is done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. I forgot to ask. Am I going to get in trouble for swearing on this, Dan? Oh, no. I mean, no. I don't, Dan's black. I haven't yet. Now. So. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, I think if you lead in with the them being like the 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 neighborhood gang, then you can go into you know I got my retribution. I would speed up the the story a little bit with you know the losing piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you don't even have to say that you skateboarded, but you really didn't. You could just say that you know you can go right into one afternoon we turned our skateboards into luches, and then you know you could even. You, like the part about your brother, it's not necessarily that important to the story. It doesn't bring, you know, it doesn't necessarily lead to the resolution of the story. It really doesn't have anything to do other than trying to get a laugh about right. your brother, you know, crashing or whatever. Um, I think I that mean, story, that story is hmm. all about the right, the right beats. I think to get the, keep the audience's interest for that one. Yeah. yeah. And that's why I'm saying like that, because it doesn't really have significance to the punchline. You could cut all of that out as far as your brother goes and then just talk about you and your friend. Yeah, I can yeah, find I a different way to uh, do the my brother is a crash test dummy joke because that usually gets a, a laugh. I don't know. What's I don't know what a loose. I don't know. A loser? Oh, a loser. Oh, a loser. A luge. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> I was like, a uh, so the, oh. the luge. See, and that's uh, sometimes people don't know what a luge is either. But the luge is a, a winter games game where you basically just lay down on a sled. It's like a one man bobsled and just 
go down a hill at 100 miles an hour and hope you don't die. It's what it, Cool Runnings was about. It's no, that was what? bobsled. It's, cool, it's, running, cool Runnings was bobsledding. Lose well, it's, it's yeah, but weren't they? But at the Olympics, wasn't it? Didn't they go into luge? Or maybe? Oh no, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Luge is one person at a time. Well, it's there's also like, the two man luge, which is kind of well. hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, but basically, what it is is like one person lays down on essentially what would be a skateboard because they do have like wheeled luges too. Yeah. And you just go. Right you now. just you just ride down a hill. That's essentially it. You like lay yeah. down. So you're not like sitting up. You're kind of laying down flat and I think I think I should do that uh, just a description of what the luge actually is. Like set up the turkeys being our gang and then like hey, do you guys know what a luge is? It's this game where you lay down on a sled and go down a ice hill and hope you don't die. And they do it in the Olympics. So my friend and I made a luge, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, yep. And then you can say we made a luge out of skateboards. Cause then it's also it's also building up to like, okay, well, this is gonna be really dumb. They do luges on on, you know, on snow. You guys are gonna do it on asphalt. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. I, th I think it's fun. I think it's fun. <laughs> yeah, I think it's funny if you set it up in a funny way and explain what it is in a in a humorous way. Because like that reminds me of like when Halt says that bit about uh, t tubing. He goes, "That's when you get on your uncle's boat with too many motors and you drag a preteen till they're dead." That's like a right. funny, yeah. simple like line like that. Yeah. I guess mine oh. wasn't as lighthearted as Nate's because there was somebody that actually. Uh, that's I a good the leaf on the stool. Mm. But then what am I supposed to hump? Come on, Wayne, figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna I have the sexual relations with on stage? <laughs> <laughs> so I could try <laughs> to lay down like well, you wouldn't be able to lay down. down. You would have to do like uh like an angle legs on the floor, you know? yeah. Yeah, legs on the floor. I think it'd be funnier up. if I actually could lay out on it, but I'm also yeah. uh, weighing I'm six eight I, and like I was gonna say pounds. you're <laughs> know, way too know. tall to do that. Yeah. <laughs> you get a real sturdy stool with a broad seat. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. That wasn't broad, That's, I'm sorry. That wasn't the okay. turkeys are done. The skateboards were luges. Is this a haku? <laughs> Uh, I took a lot of English classes, so I can tell you I don't. Know. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Oh man, I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. So I think with that one, it's more about kind of you doing a little bit of punching up, but more of rearranging how you present it. Yeah. Yeah, and I think just cutting. I wanted to have. Sometimes, you know, you get married to the way mm -hmm. the joke goes when you've done it a handful of times. Yep. And that was something, because it's like a two or three minute story, you know, so it could eat some time on a corporate show or a clean show or whatever. And I've never had to make it, you know, that much better because I've rarely used it and it usually mm -hmm. was fine. You know, it wasn't yeah. good. Yeah. I've yeah. wanted to, but uh, I've never actually felt the the strong drive to have to yeah well yeah. it's definitely got potential to be a funny bit yeah absolutely so all right well zach what do you, you got another one uh let me see what i got here i think i have i think we got enough time for probably each of you to do like one more and okay. then we'll we'll go from then we'll we'll open it up to the ask cool. the ama yeah. at the end and gonna, i'll be back in one second Okay, well, two steps Zach away, is, okay, go two steps. <laughs> okay, well, uh, kind of working on the sip and cycle bit for a while. Um, I like how it goes, okay, uh, but maybe I need to end it sooner or find a better ending to it. Um, because Holtz and I kind of worked on it a couple years back, and I love doing this joke, especially outdoors downtown because that's where those those pub pedals drive by all the time mm -hmm. um so basically the joke is like sip and cycles a pub pedal 
where a bunch of assholes and self-entitled people yell woo and drive by you on 9th and Phillips. That's kind of the description I have for the thing. And how some guy drove into one a couple years ago uh, while on drugs. And I don't want to necessarily buy that guy. I don't, I don't want that. Or oh, I fucked it up. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to necessarily give the guy a trophy for that. But I'd at least like to buy him a meal in prison. And because uh, he did a bad thing. Yes. But in a good way. And he brought joy or he uh, damaged a thing that brings joy to shitty people. So that's basically like the whole thing. And yes, yes it is a local reference. It's, kind of, it's more of a local to... Well, I mean, you could do it in any bigger town that has those those pub pedals. Right. Basically, if you, you don't know what he's talking about, it's the big bar on wheels that you'll see in college towns driving around the downtown area. Bunch of people are pedaling and getting drunk. Yeah, it's like eight to ten people uh, pedal yep. to drive this vehicle while the uh, sober uh, driver stands and steers it. Yeah, right. Dings a bell to tell the drunks when and when <laughs> to not pedal, which I think yep. is odd. But... Right. So I just I'm trying to like figure out. I, I don't want to end it there, but maybe I should. I don't know. Because like I've I've on stage I've elaborated what I'd get the guy for a meal, which I thought was kind of funny, but also it feels like just filler at the same time. So like I'd say like I'd get him a Big Mac but no fries, and the day the woos died. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, then... you can turn. I, I hate to encourage you to do even more of this, but you could turn it into uh, a music parody. The day the woo girls died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. The day the woos died. Then did you read this? Uh, so you don't want, want those dumb hoes to be injured, but, and then you shrug, I would not be opposed to filling up his commissary account. Which that... <laughs> That's pretty good reference to uh, sip and luge. <laughs> sip and luge. <laughs> Racks of cookies are expensive. <laughs> sip and, yeah. yeah, I like that. I'm just trying to figure out a different way to take it. Like, I want that to be a good intro, but maybe just something else. And I'm just not quite sure yeah. where to take that. Um. Well, the... Oh, I was going to say, instead of... Um, buying him a meal in prison you could make some other like prison centric reference like does anybody know how to get a bag of pruno into prison <laughs> well that's where uh jamie's suggestion with the commissary account that's actually a real thing for prisoners right. like they have them account so you yeah. you could do something with that where you know you could say whatever and then you know, oh, maybe, you know, fill up his commissary account. I mean, unless the only thing is with that is if, you know, people don't have family that have ever been in jail or have not been in jail, they might not get what that is. Yeah. Right. And that's, uh, you know. that, so that's, that was uh, the reference I was making too, Dan. I watch a lot of prison documentaries. Uh, it's a lot of true crime too. Yeah. <laughs> but Pruno is uh, the, the, uh, booze they make in prison by yeah. fermenting bread and sugar and fruits and whatever. Oh, okay. Kind of yeah. whatever they get. So I, I don't know if and maybe you say specifically what drug he was on. Like I don't specifically want to give him a I don't want to give him a medal for it or anything, but does anybody know how to get meth into prison? Actually oh, yeah. that that's pretty good too. Especially since you're talking about him being on drugs. Cause even if you don't know what kind of drugs he was on, you don't need to reference that. All you need to say is he was on drugs and then you could, you could use any drug. All right. So you know how to get meth to Jamie. prison. I know jail and rap references. Say <laughs> hey, so do I. I know a lot of jail references. I have a, I come from a, a family of crime. I family. I thought... Our family reunions are just uh, visiting day at the prison. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
I don't want to necessarily get him a medal, but I'd at least like to put him in my will in some degree. No. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't, I, I'm sorry, but I don't like it. I like the I like the way Skyler was going with it, where it's you know. Yeah, and even if it's something benign, like does anybody know how to get McDonald's into prison? Like I'd at least like yeah. to buy him a meal. Does or how about how to get McDonald's into prison or, or something about, like that, where it involves the. Or how about um, does anybody know how to get McDonald's into prison? Oh yeah, that'd be good too. Where you do the the quotes. Air quotes, yeah, Mc, or uh, Burger King or something like that. <laughs> yeah, you gotta find, yeah, if you could find one that sounds like more sketchy, like it's an innuendo or a code word or something, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, I want to, I'm trying to well, think, I'm just of thinking one. that you should do like. You could do, I mean, it's it's an easy one, but you could do something, not necessarily a restaurant, but you can be like, does anybody know how to get cake in prison? Into a prison? <laughs> Into a prison. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. The cake is a cake is a classic trope in like movies. Yeah, it is. Yep. Yeah. Yep. They sneak in the the file or the key or whatever through the cake. Yep. Right. Even in uh, the longest mile, I think they did like shoes in a cake or something. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that makes sense. I like that. All right, uh, what about you, Skyler? You got another one? Um, yeah, sure I do. Sure, I sure. I, uh, here, I'll just do this one because it's always been a little bit softer. Um, I do a lot of driving. Uh, I'm all around the Midwest, and I've noticed at small towns in the Midwest, we have a lot of bars called the Top Hat, <laughs> which, is, which is weird because it's always a crappy dive bar, right, which leads me to believe that the classier the accessory your bar is named after, the crappier it's going to be. <laughs> I stopped at, a, stopped at a place called the Monocle the other day. It's just an old outhouse with a keg where the dump hole used to go. <laughs> I th I don't think that joke needs work at all. I think that joke's great. See, well, and it just it just doesn't. I guess it hits really hard sometimes, and it's probably because there's a top hat nearby. Honestly, right? Yeah, that might just be the thing. I just have to do a. Uh, circumference search and see if there's a top hat anywhere in a 20 mile well, range. Or you could do, I mean, you could look, do some research just on other bars with fancy names that are kind of dive yeah. bar -y. So you could give a couple examples. You could be like, have you ever noticed like the, you know, bars with fancy names and do like top hat and, you know, whatever. A couple examples seem to be like the skeeviest bars. And then you could, you know, because then that gives it a couple points, so it doesn't have to necessarily just be tied to to Sioux Falls. Yeah, right. Well, I know. So I I, I wrote this. I was going to uh, back when I was first starting out doing comedy. I was going to open mic in Lincoln, and I had work to do along the way. And three out of the five towns I stopped in had a bar called the Top Hat. <laughs> <laughs> I was really confused. I, was like, I can't believe it. one of them was Top Hat and Tails or something, but they all just look like these these crappy dive bars, like strip mall dive bars and whatever. Yeah, I love I that. that. I think this is still from the top ramen, but not bottom ramen. <laughs> that was from the jail one. I got oh, behind yeah, on yeah. the. Oh, I love it! Yeah, yeah, yeah it was about Zach's joke. I got behind on them, but, but yeah, I think, uh, like I said, I think that joke's pretty solid too. It, I mean, other than maybe just adding a couple other what could be fancy name bars that might be in other places, but yeah, well, uh, and I think maybe I should just look, you know, research some of the bars in the area of a place I'm going. And just nab the fanciest sounding bar yep. in the region and just kind of flex that joke around to fit that. So it feels. Oh, know, hey, this is a good point. 
where you name a really nice one, name like the poop hole. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's like, yeah, yeah. So it's like the opposite where you're like, yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, that's a really good suggestion. It was like the carpenter bar. I expected it to be a bunch of smelly old craftsmen, but. Yep. Or, uh, yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll see so many royalty at the Dirty Sanchez. <laughs> no, it's like you, you are, you're expecting, it's like you expect it to be a dive bar and then you show up and it's actually classy. You're like, oh, you know, this, have you been down to the shit, you know, Oh, there's the a bar hole, called yeah. the shithole. Oh, that sounds skeevy. You know, whatever. You go in there, and it's actually the nicest bar in the area, or whatever. I heard this place called the Cleveland Steamers is really nice. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that's that's steamy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah, got him. All right. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for the uh, for doing the workshop because I like to keep this under an hour. However, I do like to do a fun thing at the end where people who are watching and thank you for all the people that are watching. I do appreciate yeah, it. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, thank you. guys. Yeah. If uh, you if you uh, enjoy this, make sure you check out the podcast, the Art of Bombing podcast. It is uh, a podcast where I talk to performers about bombing and getting better. It's uh, this is actually this show here is an extension of that podcast. Um, but I like to end with an ask me anything and AMA. So if you want to ask us anything can be does can be related to comedy or, or this, that or the other. We're we're going to have some fun before we end. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll wait a few and see if anybody Anybody uh, throws in some some questions? Oh, thank you. Love you, Jamie. Love okay. you, Jamie. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we'll wait a couple minutes. If nobody nobody sends us any questions, we'll call it a night. And thank you guys for uh, joining me. Do you guys have anything to to plug? Any digital stuff that you're doing or live uh, stuff for that matter? Don't have anything digital going on, uh, but. Recently, I don't know if some of you might have heard, uh, Luke and I took over ownership of Boz's Comedy Club, which yeah. is uh, already been rough. So, oh no, <laughs> come support us. No. Uh, we had uh, there was a little incident, it was not a big deal, it, uh, it's been resolved. But, oh, yeah, I've seen all that stuff yeah, on Facebook, uh, yeah. but you know, that's yeah, that was like on the first I'm night, not people show up, uh, but. <laughs> Yeah, no, we have we have some uh, good shows. We're going to continue the drive-in shows uh, coming up. Our next one's going to be on August 22nd. And what you do is you just pull around behind uh, Boss's Pizza and Chicken on uh, South Minnesota, where we have the Boss's Comedy Club, and tune your radio to the channel that we'll have posted. And we have comedians across the parking lot that will perform a show for you. Awesome. So, and, and you can hear it through your radio in your car, windows up, uh, you can, you know, however safe you feel like you need to be, you can absolutely be that safe. So there's, so we like to create those for a, a kind of a zero risk opportunity. We have started our open mics uh, starting every other week on Wednesday. So that will not be this week, but the next week. So Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, before we let you promote, Zach, we're going to answer some questions. All right. Uh, All right. Uh, so we got a couple. So we got uh, Bo. Uh, he says, where's the best place to get a burrito? Ooh. Well, Gilberto's. San Diego. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's my vote. San um, Diego. So the, I, I had tacos from Gilberto's today. That's actually where I wrote. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, I was standing around waiting. They had a kind of a backup of orders, but the best burrito and the best tacos and just all, overall best Mexican food I've ever had, aside from my neighbor, who's an amazing grill cook, uh, La Juanita's in Sousa. Oh, yeah. It is oh. absolutely mind-boggling it's... how good their food is. In Sioux so City, good. huh? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's right on, oh. it's right on like, Pierce and... Oh, Pierce. I think, yeah, it's on Pierce Street. I think it's, like, Pierce and 3rd or Pierce and 4th. But it's uh, the one that one in in Sioux City proper uh, on Pierce Street is the best 
Mexican food I ever had. Hmm. Interesting. All right. What product do you use on your mop, Skylar? That's the, uh, that's the You'll have to ask my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, whatever, her she shampoo, whatever she leaves on the, the counter. I used to, honestly, I would just take bar soap and wash my hair with it. And it, it really didn't change anything <laughs> when I took the shampoo because my girlfriend that's, demanded that I be a civilized human. That's such a bachelor move. <laughs> hey, a bar of soap? Bar like, soap three bars of soap is like 99 cents, <laughs> dude. I'm not going to go pay 10 bucks for a bottle of shampoo when my hair looks good after you I You can get a shower. bottle of shampoo for a dollar. I mean, if you go to the dollar store. <laughs> Just if you're uh, gonna do the bar of soap method, fellas, uh, hair, face, and then work your way down. <laughs> the order is important. Work. You always clean top down, top down, top down, top down. Skip a piece in the middle around back, you know, and then get back to that at the end. I don't care about uh, <laughs> this uh, being photoshopped into something, as long as it's not inappropriate. Get me in trouble. That's all I care about. As long as, as, long as it doesn't get me in trouble. <laughs> as long as there is less than one phallus in the <laughs> You're like uh favorite uh favorite album cover. I don't even know if I have a favorite album cover. I haven't uh I don't know. I listen to music for the music, not the art. You could say personally, so personally, uh everything sucks by real big fish. That would be yeah. I, I definitely would probably be a real big fish album. It would be yeah. great. Uh, There's lots of good ones. The yeah. Weezer, the Weezer Blue album cover. You could put four comics faces on each member of the band oh, on the album yeah. cover. I yep. think that'd be funny. That would be that would be a good one. The the blue. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, real big fish. Anything there would be good. Um. All right. Well. Do we have any other questions? We're going to wait and see. I think while we're waiting, Zach, go ahead and promote whatever you got to promote. We're going to wrap up here pretty quick. So, uh, On August 14th, Dan, I'll be with you and Trevor Anderson at Oh So Good. In, is the Lennox location? No. Or is that and, Gar uh, it's at Garrison. Fingers Garrison. crossed. Uh, 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 yeah, fingers crossed. There's a chance that I, I just... Not sure. Crossed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, with everything going on i don't have high expectations in anything nowadays <laughs> oh, right. yeah. so we're supposed to be yes uh august 14th we are supposed to be performing comedy at oh so good in garrettson south dakota yeah. keep and, up uh, for details because anything can change between now and then <laughs> yeah and also um myself and nick burke uh we've been doing some acoustic music gigs lately that have been going really well um I got tipped 20 bucks to play Rush and Led Zeppelin. So that <laughs> kind of fun stuff's been happening lately. And uh, I just played them by myself. I'm like, here, Nick, you go tune. I'm going to play this for a little bit. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, I saw the video. It was pretty good. That was fun. Good yeah, so. And, All right. Yeah. No, That's what I got. Me. I'm going to awesome. piggyback on Zach and say, go to oh so good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get the food. Don't eat before you go. Yeah. Get the yeah. meal there. <laughs> meal. It's Do some your, of yeah. the best food you'll ever eat in your life. And the Even words, if you don't uh, come to a comedy show, go to one of the oh so good locations and eat their food. Yeah. Omar is an right. amazing yeah. chef. <laughs> yeah, if you're anywhere within two hours of an oh so good, you should probably get there. It's yeah. worth the yeah. drive. Yeah. <laughs> One in time, Dan, Dan asked me uh, if I would <laughs> come and host uh, for the show at Oh So Good in Garrettson, and I said, I would love to do that, Dan, but do I get a meal? He said, well, I was thinking about paying you. I said, that's great. How about <laughs> <I do? laughs> you? Know, that's, that's not, not even a lie. Either. That was a real conversation that we could probably go back in our message and find. <laughs> oh, yeah, I could 100% go screen. He was that. more concerned about getting the meal than getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so. All right, we're going to wrap up. Thank you guys for watching. We got this. Bye, Jamie. And, yeah, I would Bye, love Jamie. to have you come on the show 
didn't do this. I'm always open for that. Uh, so this show, I'm going to try to do this every other week so or, or twice a month. I haven't had a consistent day. I've been kind of bouncing around. But just uh, follow the Art of Bombing Facebook page, and you'll, you'll find out when we do this again. And, uh, yeah, if you're a comic watching this that hasn't already been on the show or wants to come back on again, just message me because – it's a good time. That's what it's all yeah, about. It having fun. Yeah. I had so Celeste. much fun. Thank you to everybody out in the audience that's helping us out, uh, th pitching some ideas, throwing, even if you didn't give us ideas, even if you just threw some bullshit at us. <laughs> bullshit is fun. All right.